Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about free comic book days, all new, all different Avengers from Marvel, of course. Who else do you think it was from, you sloppy fools? So the first story in this is the all new, all different Avengers, as you may assume. It's kind of a, just a, you know, throwaway story letting people know that this exists, that uh, we have the Avengers and it's a comic book not really sure what they were trying to establish here because anyone going to a comic book store for free comic book they would know that the Avengers exists anyway this new lineup of the Avengers has Kamala Khan it has the new Nova and it has Morales uh, My Miles Morales as Spider-Man and that aspect is very strange to me they're putting these teenagers on this team that is the premier team for Marvel. This is the equivalent of the Justice League in this universe. And they're putting children, half of them, a little bit less than half, because Vision's on this too, are children. And that is just very strange to me. Some, some kind of young Avengers, teen Avengers, something else is needed for these kind of people. They, the enemy that they fight is the irradiated man, and he creates a construct, a hard light construct type of thing that Thor and the Vision can't crack, and that was kind of surprising to me. I would have assumed that they would have been able to do that. Uh, I didn't know that the irradiated man was that strong, and I don't think he is. I think they've really amped him for the purpose of this kind of... Um, promotional story. I'm also not sure exactly who's in that Iron Man armor. So all, all in all, this is um, it's kind of a nice story. Not especially interesting. Oh, Kamala Khan is drawn very interestingly in this. The, the new Miss Marvel. She um, has very feminine kind of joint movements in her hands. So I was really pleased to see that they didn't just draw her as a male with an hourglass figure. She has uh, these kind of joint movements where her doing it would be at an odd angle for a man, but it, for a woman it looks very natural. And uh, she kind of shrieks when she sees a dead body. So you're not trying to make her this super tough, super hard, uh, femme fatale type character, which I really like. You know, keep her this this very fun loving teenage girl with superpowers. The next story in here is with the Inhumans promoting the uncanny in humans. In this, what we have is a Bollywood premiere, and two of the people there get turned into Inhumans. The main actor, A.J. Roy, turns into kind of a Groot ripoff, I guess. You know, <laughs> if if it's popular, you imitate it. I, I, I really think I was a little bit over the top with this. Maybe he should have been more of a Poison Ivy thing? I mean, he literally looks exactly like Groot, except he has eyeballs and apparently still has teeth. You know, human teeth. Really poor idea. But a very unoriginal. And the second character, I guess, is interesting in the X-Men tradition of having cursed powers where his hands are now these kind of energy ring type things. I'm not sure where they're going with that. I guess they could be interesting characters. I haven't really seen enough of them to really like them. The strangest part of this little story yet was that uh, Medusa, the Human Torch, Triton, and uh, a few other Inhumans come down and visit with them and save them from Hydra. And then um, the Human Torch and, and Medusa kiss... So, I, I guess they're a couple now. I don't really know why they did that. Maybe they're bringing over the X-Men spirit of soap operas to the Inhumans now. I guess that's the simplest explanation. Uh, kind of an interesting story. It would be a good origin story for these two characters if they become more important, but I somehow doubt they're going to. The final one is a promotion for Max Ride. It's just a nice little kind of showing of the uh, of the art, which is very nice. It's, it almost has a watercolor type effect to it, 
but it still looks like it was digitally colored. But uh, it was it's very pretty. And it doesn't really tell you much about the plot or anything. Except there's this girl being chased by wolves. What do you guys think? What did you guys think of the comics in this year's free comic book day? Comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other projects. Thank you.